god. Oh, what? Why are you so bored? You're boring. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. This is us in the present. This is the bus. The bus the exists. Present. Yes. It's almost done. If you'd like to see more of it, go to our Insta. Yep. At Bus Life Possible. Yeah. yeah. They probably knew that. Yeah, probably. This is the oven. <laughs> This episode features our oven, and this yes. is it in the present time, and it's fully finished and workable, and we just wanted to show you that it does exist. Yes. It's all cleaned up. Took a lot of work, but it's totally worth it. I love it, and Instagram loves it, too. Yeah, and it's because it's of the avocado. I mean... Yes, for sure. Obviously. Um, Monica did a really good job of restoring this at the end. She used some high heat paint. Yes. And uh, we originally tried to bring back the chrome, but it just didn't work. We ended up grinding too much and just redid it, and it yeah. looks beautiful. The cool part about this series is that you know it's actually going to keep continuing, and we're going to be putting out more content on a weekly basis. Yes. Uh, so enjoy this conversion vlog from the past. Yep. And if you have any questions, hit us up. We have all of this work to do. See all that behind us and Lo around us? Lots of videos to come. Lots of videos. And then adventuring videos to come. Yep. Most importantly. Say goodbye. Bye. Or say, hey, here's the vlog. <laughs> hey, enjoy. Hi, Monica. Hi. Do you want to tell the people what we just got? We just got our oven. It's super cute. <laughs> it's this nice avocado green. We are going like back and forth between like what would be best as far as getting the stove and the oven and how it's going to pull so much power and we didn't we don't really know how to configure how much power each of those things are going to pull. The solar system that we're coming up with is more price conscious than it is actually oriented around our energy usage. You know, if we went to propane oven and stovetop, then that would solve all of our power consumption issues because everything else, laptops, batteries for cameras, lighting inside the bus is going to be very little power consumption. I really didn't want to worry about like not being able to cook one night because we couldn't consume that much power. So, mm -hmm. I mean, in this situation, you know, we might not be able to cook because we uh, don't have propane. But. <laughs> <laughs> we technically don't know if it works too, for the record, because <laughs> we haven't tried it out. Yeah. He said it did, so I so, hope but so. <laughs> in my opinion, anything that's under $50 is well worth the attempt of getting it to work. Plus, say this isn't working, the cleanup that we do on this, I think we could relist this for $50, even not working, and someone know what they're doing to get it work. We know handy people, so like, yeah. between all those people that we know, I think someone would be able to look at this and figure it out immediately if it didn't work. To clean this, I've cleaned a lot of ovens in my day. As a baker and chocolatier, um, I'm just using vinegar. So I just kind of like put vinegar on everything <laughs> and then take some baking soda and sprinkle it on there. Um, and the baking soda obviously reacts with the vinegar, but it also kind of creates like an abrasive. So stuff comes off pretty nicely. It's better to let it sit on there for a minute, but you can see like that almost totally came off immediately. Oh, wow. We are at Menards. We were first at Home Depot and I had to run out and get our sanders from the car because I don't have any clue what type of sand things that these need in order for us to sand down our bus so we can paint it appropriately. So you just have to uh, throw your man card completely out the window when you decide to do a bus conversion and just go in and be like, hey, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Show me what I need for these things so I can paint a bus. So that's where I'm at in life. You've reached Jeff Cherry. I'm away from 
my phone at this time. So I still haven't been able to get any help. Oh, here's an employee. Hey, would you be able to help me find some sandpaper? Fuck yeah. Menards employees are the nicest. <laughs> so it looks like there's clamp on, and then there looks like there's the disc, and then there's fineness, and I don't know what fineness we need to get down to for painting. Well, then we need to call Dad. I tried to call him, and he did not answer the phone. Okay. There's assorted grit. There's 150, 100, 60 grit. The smaller the number, the rougher it is. The higher the number, the finer it is. How did she know to pick up the five inch one right away? Like I stressed over figuring out how large the circular <laughs> one and you just I, pick I it just up. I thought like that looks like it's close to six inches. So. That's what she said. Or he said. We got roof paint. We got regular green paint. Ooh, that's the yeah. hunter green, they that little dot. They mixed it for Ooh. us. Ow. Let's use plastic bags. There's nothing wrong with the environment. Let's put them in seven plastic bags. Let's put the paint in plastic bags. So we worked out a deal with Northwoods Fabrication. Um, I happened to find him on Etsy um, when I was looking for tiny wood stoves and he has really great prices. He's coming out with a new design um, which is like a small window, what do you say, like four by six window. He's basically modeling it after the Cubic Mini and um, it's going to cost like half its price. So This whole thing is definitely starting to get more real and realer and realer as we go. It's just so nice to be in motion, working on things back to back weekends now that we have the bus, you know, back from repairs and the diesel mechanic and essentially fully road ready, um, besides the whole aspect of building out the bus. The daily grind is definitely getting harder though, just with work, going to the day gig, uh, coming home and trying to keep steam on everything else. Um, it's just nice to know that the time is continuing to tick down and you know you just go into that next day that next shift and get things done and soon enough you're going to be doing the things you really want to be doing Ooh, an eagle appreciate it they usually give you a really good deal if you use your own cup but not, we did not get a really good deal. not this time <laughs> no. sometimes you have to say hey can i just get a refill since i'm getting it in my mug and they'll give it to you for like 50 cents. One time I had a guy just say, yeah, it's on the house, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was really nice. And other times they charge you a dollar sixty. Yep. <laughs> Is that how much they charged? Dollar seventy two. Oh my god. I I'd go back in there and get my money back. <laughs> <laughs> Should have just walked out with it. Bus over yonder. And here's that oven. What's crazy about this oven is we cannot find it anywhere on Google. I mean, I'm really, I'm a good Googler. Good Googling runs in my family, but could not find this anywhere. So it's a Wedgwood and it's Robert Shaw oven accessories. And Atwood came up a lot with it too, but to find a four burner oven in this style, even with the model number, it's a T2150 nothing you're gonna have to show that eye to the vlog i totally forgot to mention this oh my god it looks great you barely can tell no <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna go ahead and take this fitting off and we'll bring it to the hardware store and see what we need to make an adapter to go to a camp stove propane tank all right so i'm gonna try to uh blow out this oven Back here, I'll tighten that a little bit more. I hear it out the front for sure. Oh, I can see the propane rolling off right now. <laughs> May shut off the. So that leaks. So that leaks. That one leaks. Okay.
burner. Yeah, it's on still. Yeah. Yeah, that's on. Hell yeah. Okay, hey, just keep that burning for a little bit. Okay. I don't like this. Push that in. I don't like this thing you got going on right now, Jim. <laughs> Push the thing in. Oh, that's going. Yeah. Something's either plugged, it's not getting any fuel into here. You have to take this take this off. Yeah. Unscrew that and see if you can get this piece off. Yeah, and clean it. And clean it. Or put some air pressure into it. Yeah. So explain what did you you mocked up here to well, get This it is an old uh, plumber's torch valve. So I just soldered it into the open end of this fitting that was already on the stove. So the one thing we don't know, we don't know how much pressure is in this. So we didn't know how to regulate it. At first it seemed like we were getting way too much gas. But then after, after we tor turned it down, got one of them lit, we started lighting the other ones. I turned it up all the way to, to take whatever pressure was in here. And it, it did run all four burners. Yeah. So we shut all those off and then we lit the oven like you saw. And uh, the only issue I see is Potentially that burner element needs to be cleaned out or are the pipe leading to it Which would make sense because we haven't cleaned that we cleaned everything else. Yeah, we just haven't cleaned that yet Hi guys. <laughs> It's wabbit season <laughs> Turn on the heat hurry my brother was kind and got us a gift card to Lowe's because we housed him while he was in town for the PGA tour Oh God. And uh, so he gave us a $50 gift card because he's a nice son of a bitch. Gang, listen, I want to apologize. You know, I didn't realize what the nose hair situation was last week. <laughs> and I went ahead and I trimmed up, you know. And so I'm looking a little straighter now, you know, clean cut. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you hanging in there with me. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. All right. Job well done today. See you next week. Keep it up. You'll get a raise soon. Thank you. So just uh, go ahead and click on the next video. It'll be the next day because convenient for you. All the work's been done and uh, that's <laughs> about it. So <laughs> apparently I'm really dirty right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're all covered in black paint dust. Do not get your heart set on anything going into <laughs> building your bus. Like build yeah. out the bus have the rough plans, like lay out things like we did in Photoshop and kind of have an idea of things, but be willing to let that shit go because 
it's all changing now that we're seeing things in the actual physical space, how yeah. the living space would be, what we can fit on the actual roof of the bus. I'm feeling the crunch right now on having to get the actual physical things we need for the bus. Yeah, we're I, buying everything this week, pretty much. I had a plan for the solar panels, but that person's not getting back in touch with me, so I need to look for new solar panels, and I need to have them really bought within the next week in order to be able to appropriately start sizing them up, how we're gonna bracket them to the roof of the vehicle. Um, you know, it just, it creeps up on you. So just be ready to pull the trigger when it happens. Yeah, we spent a lot of money on stuff the last <laughs> a few yeah. days. You, and then the other thing too is that with your budget that you're estimating, you have to leave wiggle room. So like all our physical tangible items that went into the bus, we made sure that they were coming out to be a thousand dollars less than our actual budget. Every single time you work on the bus, you're gonna need additional things. You're gonna need the, the, the grit paper. You're gonna need the caulk. You're gonna need the tape, you're just gonna need all of these things, the propane tank to do the testing. You have to be budgeting smartly, or at least know that you're not gonna hit that budget because you're gonna have those miscellaneous expenses. Ultimately, we both really appreciate everyone watching these videos. Really happy to have you along for the journey. Yeah. I just keep thinking about like, not just the conversion process, but where we're gonna be going, where we hope to take you, what we're seeing, how we're making bus life possible. We're gonna document pretty much everything. Oh yeah, do tons of hiking and exploring. We posted like a top 20 list the other day on Instagram to like share with everyone where we're gonna go and our hopes and dreams. It's just, it's not even the large monuments and national parks for me. It's the small towns, mm -hmm. the cemeteries that you stumble into, the getting lost and discovering that small shop that ends up becoming your favorite place in the world. Like, though, that's what I really look forward to. Yeah. Outside yeah. of the other really cool shit. Yeah. And the Walmart parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we decided to end this vlog on our roof deck with mm -hmm. our solar panels and Wi-Fi extender in the background. In the shade. So many conversion vlogs to come. Thanks for being here, and we will see you next Wednesday. Or you can just click on the next video, and there may be another video to watch. Maybe. Peace. Bye. Feels good now. Boy, does it. This is that type of weather that just makes you want to take your pants off. <laughs>